Hello everyone, my name is Shanice and welcome to Bloom Street. In this video, I take you with me as I make my wedding dress. In May, I had a Ghanaian wedding under lockdown, fully respecting the regulations of the Dutch government and with a DIY dress. Granted, it's not your conventional wedding dress, but I'm very excited to show you. So come along with me. Okay guys, let's get into the materials. For my dress, I chose this floral cotton satin fabric with silver details. Quite different from your typical wedding dress material, but perfectly suited nonetheless. I also opted for this design from Vogue Patterns. I decided to make a slightly tweaked version of Model B. Mainly the flow of the dress, the cold shoulder, and this sleeve detail really drew me to it. I have a color matching zipper, and finally these lovely buttons with the gold details. Because of how understated they are, they blended quite nicely with the overall dress. This is what the fabric looks like. Very beautiful. If you look critically, you can probably see the shining effect here and here. So I marked my sizes on this. This is my bust size. This is my waist and my hip. And it's at this point that I realize it won't fit me. <laughs> so having realized that the size is, this would not fit me. I've made some adjustments. To, uh, I've made some adjustments. So what I did is that I've extended um, the size 14. I've extended this 14 with two centimeters to meet my measurements. So from here to here, I marked vantage points at the end to make sure that they all come together all the way to the top. This is the center. Um, the skirt front, I did the very same for the skirt back. Same extended here, about two centimeters all the way down. To make sure my lines are also accurate, I used this, which I don't remember the name now, <laughs> to make sure that I can draw the, um, connect the lines um, perfectly. Finally, I've managed to cut out all of my um, pattern. It took me a long, way too long than I expected. I even ended up, you know, pinning myself at some point. You always need to have band-aid around. Anyway, so everything is cut out um, and I'm ready to sew. Let's go. Oh, before we start. All these calculations I had to make for the adjustments. <laughs> okay, let's go.
excuse the messy surroundings, but I'm very excited. So far, I love how it looks. Um, it drapes very nicely. I can walk freely. There's a lot of room, so that's lovely, except that my butt has completely disappeared. That's unfortunate. So in the end, I decided to tighten the top part a bit and then to add a belt to cinch in my waist and bring back, you know, as much of my missing butt as I could. Let's go. So I just realized the worst thing, well, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I'm supposed to attach the zipper, but because I've already attached the front piece to the front bodice to the um, back bodice, it was a bit difficult to get the zipper to actually go through my clothes, my, my the dress. So now, um, I don't want to, you know, undo both sides. So what I've tried to do now is just um, using my sim ripper to open up the shoulder. So my plan is from with the shoulders open, at least to the both parts are slightly open now. So I can push the dress through the zipper um, foot in, and then I can make my dress work out and my zipper. I can attach the zipper. So wish me luck. Let's see how this goes.